I feel like Dirk running on this for like the whole shit and then just cutting it up, building around it, like the drums on this shit and everything. It'd be hard if you just float on it too for a minute and then the yeah, drums came float, in. Yeah, and then just like kind of had some layers to it. It's, it reminds me of I'm gonna do that motherfucker tonight, I'm gonna go crazy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, it's happening. <laughs> I feel like Dirk on that shit is gonna yeah, be nah, insane. It's gonna be nuts, yeah, for sure. You already know. I know he is, we is. Yeah. Oh, well, there we are. Yeah. It's happening. <laughs> Sparks in there, man. Recording a song for the album. I just gotta remember to throw up the camera at all times because I forget, but just know it's magic happening. It's already sound like I can hear him through the through the door. It sounds crazy, but he he, he won't show me anything until it's until it's all laid. He said it I gotta surprise you for it. So here we are. Accept me, please. Accept me for me. Don't judge me on my past life. No, I want you to bleed. Type of girls be on my line, but I ain't chasing them though. We always around our friends. Let's take vacations alone. Before you ever get a job, get a gun. And whoever hops on it, as it builds back up, yeah. it will like make more sense because like it will yeah. give them a proper introduction. Right. Just the same way Dirk came on at the beginning, where it was like subtle and soft, and it built right. up. I feel like we should fade it out at the end, so you know whoever yeah, comes in, thing. yeah, we get the same feeling. <laughs> see this curtain in a new setting, it's just so exciting. It's the world. All right, so this is what's going on today. We were supposed to shoot today. Had some complications, uh, things out of our control, so now we're shooting next week. I've always wanted to do a one take. It is a one take, but there's gonna be a lot of takes where we stitch together, but a one take video that goes around in a circle, in a circle set that's created. And um, I want to create something that's really simple and easy on the eye, but also very complex and, you know, takes a lot of preparation and needs to be dialed in super properly. So what we're doing is we have a motion control head here and we're doing a 360 spin around this whole room. And every take we do is going to have the same exact speed, zoom, um, lighting setup. Everything's going to be programmed to be the exact same. So we're going to do a ton of takes with Dirk and Cuddy and we're going to do some freeze frame um, walk-ins we're gonna do a ton of different you know roto cloning all sorts of different stuff this is just really cool to see the curtain in a new light and a new perspective oh my goodness every time you see the curtain for a new video it's just something new so we're we're entering it we've we've officially arrived welcome so we tried to shoot this once already about two months ago because the idea was the first single being doomsday and then a single every month three singles and then the album would drop roughly in september maybe even august and now we are what month is it september september september, september now and there's only one single out you know dirk had some some things going on uh he's actually he was in the hospital um he got put in the hospital a day before we were supposed to shoot so we had to reschedule and then cuddy was about to release his album so he was in the middle of that and we weren't able to really figure out a date that worked. So with putting together an album like this and shooting a video for every song, it can get really tricky because you're working with so many different people's schedules. We finally figured it out and here we are on September 16th. We're going to do our program days. So we're programming camera, lighting, setting up lighting, getting everything situated for tomorrow since we're shooting motion control. Funny thing is, is that we already built this set once and did a full day of programming once, but had to tear everything down and now need to start all over because we're reshooting um, two months later, whatever it may be. But this song in particular means the world to me because this is actually, I think the first song that we finished off the album, the first song we started off the album rather. And I, uh, there's a few people throughout the course of the month because this song was made about just maybe like a year ago now, I think. Yeah, like a year probably. I texted it to Cuddy one day and I didn't I didn't hear anything 
back and then like a month later he called me he's like hey is it too late to hop on that song and i was like no not at all and then later that night i got surprised with a cutty verse an incredible cutty verse of that while i was on set for a Leroy video and the day was just not going great i was kind of out of my out of my zone and that verse came in and it almost brought me to tears I love that. I'm gonna start with that first one. Huh? I love that first one, but nah, that was cool too. Oh, okay, cool. oh my gosh. What? Uh, oh, you just sent me back the room. Yo, did you oh. get any pictures like you? Already? Very close to that. Yeah. Oh, shit! Let's go! What? Cutty Burns, boy! Hey, I'm talking about Fuck! Melody, Fuck! Man. That shit. Like, I gotta have a moment. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. And um, bringing an artist like Dirk and Cuddy together is really important to me because, you know, Dirk is one of my close friends and someone who I collaborate with very frequently. And then Cuddy is like one of my childhood heroes. So to bring them together, being two artists that you would never expect together, and them sounding amazing on one song is. It's a dream, and uh, I can't believe this is happening. I keep having to pinch myself, wake myself up, and realize that this is, in fact, real life. We yeah, still have the same. Yeah. How did, how's it come? So the camera movement is perfect. It's the lighting cues that we're adjusting now. The lighting is what we suffered the most with last time, so now we can really just use today. All right, what do you think, Zane? Just get the lighting perfect. And we got beautiful movers this time that are going to do exactly what we want. So, so you didn't have these like, not 11. Don't you wish we could just have a big sleepover here? Dude, I know. A ton of fucking blankets and just air mattresses. It's so cozy. It's crazy. It's great. I need to I'm listen so to the album in here. Mm. With my eyes closed. Actually, my eyes need to be open because I need to look at it. <laughs> this is the only type of this fabric that exists in the entire world. There's no more of this fabric anywhere. It'll never be recreated. This color will never be seen again. This is solely for the album. What a damn collection of sentences you just said, man. Fuck. I'm so happy we're redialing the lights. That was the one thing I didn't love last Yeah, I don't time. love it either. Um, these, these lights will do crazy effects, and they're way, way more flexible. And can I you put explain one, to me the difference between... So these lights, they have, they're softer, so they, can, they have a softer like diffusion inside of them that we can play with. They also have a better gobo that almost looks like water, some, some effects that like make it look different and they also they can get really small mm. and they can go they can almost make a strip of light on the top so the reason why we weren't getting a great silhouette before is because we couldn't really control What's the silhouette look like now? it's gonna look crazy they're still dialing this light in but once we get to that silhouette moment so the silhouette is really going to be a silhouette with these lights Come on now. permission, no charge. Before you ever get a job, get a car. My only note is I would like to make also that I can't hear. final spotlight mm -hmm. so, uh, a little so tighter. Let's talk about the, uh, the so we can at the end yeah, or so right at the very end, so we can just see a perfect circle on this okay. tight line. Oh, you want to see a perfect instead of being like soft on the edges? The you want to be wants to, at this last one. I'd yeah. like a perfect circle. Perfect, a sharp circle. Yeah, but it needs to be a smaller circle since okay. we're zoomed in. Yeah. We need something okay. that. You okay. got on that? Cool. So the transition from okay. Yeah, that's so good. That's fine. <laughs> Saw that. <laughs> that was a great take. I feel really good. Bam, exit. We have Cuddy's tie too. Yeah, All right, so, how you doing, man? Cuddy's bringing a suit. He's wearing a suit, but we don't know if we're gonna get him in the tie. He said he's gonna make the decision day of. So, one of the many goals of today is get Cuddy in this tie. If you watch the video and he doesn't have the tie on, then we failed. But 
He's gonna be wearing this time. What's up, y'all? How you feeling? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the What's good? to the world. <coughs> oh shit! This is rad. This is dope. It's gonna be really cool. Fire, fire. Yeah. I'll show you a uh, a path to kind of what we've been doing with the stand-ins. So you can get a feel for okay. what the movements can look like, but okay. should be quick and fun, man. Okay. Dirk's about to be in a second. Let's go. I gotta fucking. Listen to the song. Yeah. I want him to like stop. So like he stops. Yeah. And, and then, then I want him to almost like dissolve, hey, like go, go, go. like disintegrate as it starts. You know what'd be cool? It's just like. That'd be, you know what else would be cool? Mm. If you do the promotion of him as if you like walked into it. If you well, I want to I want to do freeze frame throughout the entire video. So like, there's ah, he's gonna be okay. walking into himself a ton. Ah okay yeah. great great okay yeah because you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You have like. Yeah, for, for sure, especially on the wides. Like when it widens up during Cuddy's part right here. You want him like to walk into it, right? On anything like this, we'll have like a ton of moments like that. We'll have moments where he's literally just, we'll do takes where he literally just walks and hits ad and so on and so forth. I'm gonna have a couple like 3D builds of both Dirk and Cuddy. Low poly, like out of focus when it starts to really speed up, that, that pass through so it looks like they're like floating. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. So that'd be cool. Uh, when you guys are in here, it probably feels like we're inside the album. <laughs> Literally. So not only did Carlton do the guitar in the song, he also did the back vocals all over this song. I remember I pitched the guitar up and like did it. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this one is hard. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure as out. As long as we can get, like I said, the general hand movement, so yeah, Dirk like kind of looks like he knows what he's doing. Okay, yeah, I'll teach you. And then if you could do this hand, like you don't even gotta actually be hitting. You know, because it's kind of keep the rhythm okay. type shit and just have this one just flat. Leonte, aka Elliot. I can say for myself, it's a special moment because I grew up listening to Cuddy. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. And Elliot and I have known each other for coming up on 10 years. And one of our bonding points has always been Cuddy and that we were huge fans of Cuddy. So for us to be here together, for you to witness this moment, it's special for me and I'd assume it's special for you. Very special. I also agree. It's, it's especially special that it's a uh, Lil Dirk and Kid Cuddy. Lyrical Lemonade album. And that's that. Bye. <laughs> Heard it here first. And one more thing. Man, it's just, it's just really, it's really different, man, because I can honestly say, like, we really give our all to this shit. Like, a lot of people give, like, 50%, 60%. On a good day, maybe 75%. <sighs> I'll tell you what. I was taking a look at my life the other day, and I was like, damn, it's all yellow. I was like, my whole life is yellow. My whole life is Lyrical Lemonade be a good thing and a bad thing when you love what you do it's a good thing and i love what i do but uh yeah this is uh it's a real thing the whole life has been given to that damn lemon i tell you what to that damn curtain these past few months so uh we've arrived we're not going anywhere guitar in my room out now bitch i see at the end being there's gonna be a lot more going on than what you got to see right now. There's gonna be a lot of each of them. There's gonna be freeze frames, like walking into themselves. There's going to be multiple versions of themselves. I'm gonna have Cuddy do a take where it's literally just him in the back hitting his ad libs. You know, at the end when it speeds up for the outro, we're literally gonna go through like a disintegration, like trippy. This is the only video off the album that lives inside of the curtain world. Everything else is exterior. It's the only one that really you're inside of it. Is there like a big yeah. But this is just one room within a palace. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doomsday came before this. But in the story of like how the album will actually be stitched together as like a full length visual album. Yes. The first song is uh, that comes before us on the track list is the intro because it's the second song on the album as of right now. But there's stories that take place in between each video too that will like kind of push forward what happens in every other video. Right. Why Rush is what took place before the album. That's right. Why Rush is like the mantra, oh, like the motto right. to the album process. Because Why Rush is green, it's the same curtain, but it's green. And then with age and wisdom, 
green turns to yellow. Yellow brings us into the album. And then I have other colors planned for future projects. Right now we're in yellow. But right now we're in yellow. So when you walk in, the, the light takes a second. So that first, the first line, I'm in the room with my guitar. And then you slowly start moving. But the, the pacing is weird, but you just, these, these arrows are where you walk on, but you'll get it right. You'll see. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a while though. It'll look easy. Yeah, it looks easy, but it's, <laughs> it's pretty hard. It's good if it's really happening. Okay, let's go. Hey, roll camera, please. And play that. Performing into Ken is gonna lag a little bit. Only problem with how we're shooting this on motion control, since the way it's programmed, is the camera needs momentum, so it's the same exact every time. So we have to start the song from the beginning every time. So we okay. just have to have a little bit of patience, but I feel like in a few takes we'll be able to get it right. Okay. Um, but at the very beginning of the video, because like I said, it's, it's just I love you throughout this whole video. It's like free so you frame. You see me the whole time. You know, you see me the whole time in the video. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing Dirk peek in at the very beginning, and you peek in, and then a couple of times you like walking around. Exactly. Yeah. And then my only note for you, up great, is kind of just work the floor. I, I've set it up so you, since you're incredible form, just freestyle this. So I have moments where you come in, come out, just work that whole space. Yeah, you got the space. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and then we'll have one where we we focus on being close up and one where we focus. But to get in the swing of it, I said we did. Have fun. The, the video is yeah. about having fun. It's gonna be a ton of you free frame walking into your show. Right. Like I'm gonna do one take where we just like you're kind of in the distance. You just work on the ad libs. You know. Okay. You know, just like having fun. Cool, cool. And I really think my personal favorite part is the wow, wow, yeah. wow. Have some fun there. Mm -hmm. Like when we did the uh, the shit with Dot. I don't know what you did, but you did this thing where you were like, oh no, and the lights were hidden. Like did this thing that changed the whole video. Had you had not done that. Things so, be coming out, I don't know where they come from. Just let loose. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember the Lamborghini Mercy video? Yeah. The all black video that we did with, with, with Pusha and yeah. the two chains and yeah. shit? So I didn't want to be in that video, right? Mm -hmm. And we was out there shooting Cruel Summer. 
right? And I was on set for like 12 hours a day. I was tired as fuck, right? He was like, yo, Kanye, what you in this video? I'm like, man, I'm not even on the song, man. I don't even like Lamborghinis. I'm like, what the fuck? You <laughs> I don't even like Lamborghinis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, no, we need you in the video. It's the whole good music. So I was like, cool. So like, I didn't really know what to do. So I just did like, I don't know what the fuck it was, but I just did some dance. And it became like the moment of the but video. brought a whole new energy. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was just like, because I was just, you know, being myself. Yeah. I mean, you already started getting to the swing of it this last take. But saying anything like that, lean into it. Yeah, oh, it's gonna take it to a new level. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna lose our minds and all the sides. Okay, so we're gonna lose our minds. So this one I'm gonna keep close, and then I'm gonna have one for you. Maybe 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 mayb�ी mayb�ी ma�ी 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 ma�ีมาดูวันเวอร์วีจิสต์ดูฟูลเพอร์ฟอร์แมนซ์ออลเดอะเวย์ทรูบอทีกัสทีเกเดอร์อินแคมเบอร์ทั้งโฮทามอัลคลีนรันออลเดอะเวย์ทรูบเฮ้ยสิ่งเจ้าเล่นซ์ฮะแรปออนเดอร์กเดี๋ยวเราจะมาดูกันต่อไปนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะมาดูกันต่อไปนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะมาดูกันต่อไปนะครับเดี๋ยวเราจะมาดูกันต